What victory looks like to us is the, the first generation that will be disease free. There will become a generation that will be the first generation where there is no new cases of the disease. I'm the director of the DOD HIV AIDS prevention program. So the purpose of this program is to assist our military friends with their HIV programs and help them develop one hopefully as good as we've got in our U.S. military. There's about six million members in the militaries that we support around the world right now and that's a lot, lot larger than the size of our own military. So our program that we're able to support around the world is impacting a very large group of military members and their families. There were militaries 10 years ago who had a tough time putting together operational units that were complete and healthy enough and many times in certain parts of the world that was due to the fact that many of their service members were infected with HIV and becoming ill because they weren't on treatment. We work in anywhere from 57 to 70 countries at any given time and this particular program is called the Military International HIV training program which is MIHTP. So it's a great training program where we bring clinicians here for 30 days. So it's a 30-day residential training program and they learn about how to care, treat, and prevent HIV um, in our military settings. This is one of my favorite times of year. And I think the reason why the course is so important is because those tools are available. It's not like you're dealing with a disease that you don't have anything. We have good diagnostics, we have good medications, uh, we, we've been studying it quite heavily over the last three decades. So it's one of those things where there's a lot of tools at people's disposal. I think it's trying to get that sharing, that out, uh, is going to make an impact on that disease. We learn from each other and I think that's what makes this such a great opportunity is the fact that it's not a one-way relationship. We learn from them, they learn from us and I think I'm better prepared, I know, as a Navy physician to go on further humanitarian missions based on the, my experiences. With the Nigerian military and uh, Nigeria as a whole, uh, we've been able to curtail the prevalence of HIV. Uh, we still have some issues, we still have some of our troops that uh, still want to hide the, the virus. On a general note, uh, we still have some issues in acceptance in some sects really actually still do not believe that the, the virus exists. I have been learning a lot, um, which I hope to take back to my country to help. Oh, they are, uh, well, they're, they're just wonderful because we are learning new skills here. We are learning in an environment which is totally different from ours. So we are exposed to new technologies. We are getting new updates and uh, we look forward to using the skills we are learning from here. So it's a, it's a very good program. The U.S. Navy, um, I'd like to thank them, to thank the U.S. Navy uh, about this partnership, about um, how you are, they've been allowing us to be in this hospital, this center, and to work with the doctors and the, to work also with the patients because also we are learning from the patients and um, how they are also willing to share all the research opportunities they have. Uh, back home, we'll be still working with the doctors and the researchers who are here and um, sharing information, yeah. We're very proud that this is something that the Navy has, was ad immediately identified to do and also has done a very good job with. So um, it's something that I think is somewhat unique for the Navy and it gave the Navy the op an opportunity to shine across the entire U.S. military and show that we can coordinate military-wide, DOD-wide activities as well as get involved in international security cooperation. And so once we get to the point where people that are infected currently are being treated, we will see an end to new infections and that's the goal that everybody is working towards and the expectation is that's not decades away, that's just years away and it's not something that people can't expect to see very soon.